Hello. Sometimes gay guys don't always know what a good come on is, or if somebody's coming on to them, or interested in them, or how to talk to somebody if, if they're interested in them. And I got someone recently asking me how to, you know, if a guy is interested in you, like how do you approach them, just to understand really how to talk to guys and know who to talk to without getting beaten up. Yeah. That's an understandable fear for gay guys, and for some gay guys, people are extremely sexually forward with them, with the ways that they come onto them and they make it really, really obvious, and some gay guys not so much. I know that for myself, um, it's not really been very obvious. Like, the, the most leaning, the most forward that people have been with me is people will say, do you have a girlfriend? Because they want me to say, no, I don't have a girlfriend because I'm gay and I like men and I have a boyfriend or something like that and just give myself away, but I'm just, no, and don't really know what to say after that. It's happened to me a lot of times. Other times people have also come on to me and I didn't realize until like years later there was some kind of hint about it or something like that. So it isn't always obvious. It depends on the person. The thing is, is that I think... Um, more or less everybody has sort of a vibe that they give as to whether they're gay or not, and also people are more or less comfortable around certain people. They might seem open-minded or closed-minded or up for talking about certain things, things like that. But there's also, you know, how, how do you talk to someone? But for me, I just feel like I just want to be friends with people, and if things happen, they just happen. You just kind of escalate it slowly over time like you both do, naturally. You know, I've... I've messed around with friends and stuff before, and it just, it kind of comes to that when the time is right, but you don't, you don't want to be too forward because then you scare someone away, and you don't want to seem like you're making a hint, guys like to do vague hints to try to not throw the person off, but you want to show the person you're interested if the time is right, like if someone is clearly interested in you, then maybe you could reciprocate but you don't want to do something first, if that makes any sense. But anyway, being gay is different than being straight. You don't get to say exactly what you mean all the time. There are sort of hidden messages and hidden codes and and things that you need to like think about it and, and look into a little bit. Like something very small and a hidden detail, like the way someone looks at you and then you catch them and they look away, might give away if that person's interested in you. Or maybe the way that they talk or not talk about certain things or even just body language and the way that they act or act around you or how comfortable they are with you is something that you kind of learn over time. And that's kind of the thing too is that, you know, me having Asperger's, I don't, I didn't always understand body language or if someone was comfortable or uncomfortable or, or passing a hint or vaguely wanting something but sounding like they wanted something totally different. Like these were things I kind of had to learn and experience over time. And the person I was talking to, the, that little message, he had Asperger's, and that's something that you kind of gather with experience a little bit, but some things you just, you could learn from other people's stories a little bit too. One of my favorite <laughs> little stories of someone having come on to me though, which I thought was sort of amusing, was uh, I was one time after a swim, and it was Friday, and there was nobody in the locker room, and I was not wearing anything, like, about to put something on or something, and someone just, like, I think someone's looking at me, I feel like somebody is, and someone just, like, walks naked that way, and I look, and, you know, get a whatever, <laughs> and then he comes up to me and says, um, want to come over here and jack off with me? And, <laughs> you know, something as forward as that, and if you're, you know, into the person or whatever. I mean, like, that was something that someone with Asperger's would get if they were interested, if they were up for that kind of stuff. But things that were smaller hints, I didn't always get it. But you kind of learn and to feel things out and sense things over time. But that's one example of someone being forward. I know one of someone not being so forward is, is at a Verizon where someone seemed interested in talking to me and I was attracted and he asked me, tell me what you're thinking right now, be honest with me. And what I really wanted to say was that I was kind of thinking about boning him right then, but I wasn't going to say that, and there's two friends and coworkers of him not that far away that way, and I made something up, I didn't tell him a real answer, and 
um, he told me that I can talk to him through some number that his coworkers had or something, and I was, like, not really getting it. And my friend told me that, that there was, you know, a hidden messenger that I didn't get, and I was like, what are you talking about? And, you know, sometimes girls do things, too, that show that they're interested, but I don't, I don't get it, and someone will tell me later. you got to kind of say what you mean with, you know, maybe men in general, but also, like, an Asperger's person especially. Got to be a little more black and white. Also, something like, you know, getting beer at someone's house or something might have a more hidden meaning. <laughs> it's kind of overly forward to say that someone just wants to have sex. Kind of could turn the person off or make them run away or something like that. And I've had the experience of, you know, doing something with someone and they just suddenly run away or don't return my calls anymore or something like that. When guys are not secure with their sexuality, um, unpredictable stuff happens. <laughs> so you may want to just avoid doing that with someone unless they're really cozy with themselves. Because, uh, you know, expect the unexpected when someone is unstable or insecure that way. So... Did that answer everything? I don't know if a guy's interested in you, how to approach them, just don't understand really how to talk to guys and how to talk to without getting beaten up. Well, how to approach them, I think you kind of want to just find some way to talk to them as an equal, as a friend, but like play it cool, play it calmly. Um, I once talked to someone because I saw the way that he looked at me, but then he looked away, and we made friends, you know, things like that. You, you can kind of sense that someone's interested and find some way to make small talk with them. But just don't seem too interested or you'll scare them away. And don't seem bored by them either. There's some happy medium where you can just kind of play it calmly around the person. Anyway, so I think that interested, answered interested you, how you approach them. I personally like bars and karaoke if I was to, you know, be dating again, which I'm not. I like singing. And it gives easy conversation for, you know, how much you enjoyed their song and stuff. But don't really understand how to talk to guys. Being comfortable with yourself and gaining confidence might be appropriate, especially for Asperger's people. I'm always telling people they need to, you know, get martial arts and all that and confidence. But, um, you know, that'll help them with their social stuff. And, and, uh, if you play it cool, if you play it right, then you, you won't get beaten up. You know, you... You're not going to say something that's going to really offend someone. So, just don't don't say the wrong thing, but just see if you can see if you can treat them as an equal and as a friend. Okay, I hope that helps.